Hi, I'm Ranjita, nursing tutor in East College of Nursing, Vilapram and Vesalai. Now we are going to discuss about fibroid uterus. Um, definition of fibroid uterus, De uh, nothing but it's a fibroid uterus means the growth of smooth muscles is made up of uterine cavity uh, in outwards. The next one, uh, types of fibroid uterus. First one is the intramural fibroid and second one is the submucosal fibroid and third one subserosal fibroid then fourth one is the pedunculated fibroid and next one is the first we discuss about intramural fibroid. Intramural fibroid is the nothing but is the most common type of fibroid developed in the muscular wall of the uterus. Then next one is the submucosal fibroid. Submucosal fibroid means the growth in the muscular layer beneath in the uterine lining it bulge into the uterine cavity then next one is the subserosal fibroid subserosal fibroid means develop outside the uterine wall into the pelvis then next one is the pedunculated fibroid the growth out from the surface the uterus are into the uterine cavity then next one is the causes the uh, fibroid uterus the most of the causes is unknown then um, some other is linked with the hormone estrogens the next one is the signs and symptoms first signs and symptom is heavy or prolonged periods then next one is the abdominal discomfort and fullness then pelvic pain lower back pain bladder symptoms such as frequent urination and difficulty emptying the bladder then last one is the bowel symptoms such as constipation the next we discuss about the diagnosis first one is the ultrasound in the ultrasound uh, we see the fibroid uterus the next one is the MRI then next we discuss the treatment first one is the anti-inflammatory drugs ibuprofen and naproxen the both drugs are to reduce the pain and fevers the next one is the hormonal treatment in that hormonal treatment gonadotrophin releasing hormones and oral contraceptive pills then progesterone containing agents the uh, next one is the minimal invasive procedure in that in, uh, minimal invasive procedure first we discuss about uterine artery embolization it's nothing but this procedure block the blood supply to the fibroid it will reduce the growth of the tissue growth then. the next one is the endometrial ablation it will destroy the lining of the uterus to stop the bleeding the next one is the surgical management in the surgical management first one is the hysterectomy it's nothing but the permanent procedure that remove the uterus the next one is the myomectomy this is a surgery to remove the uterine fibroid only for the uterine fibroids the next one is the labrotomy it's uh, this is a uh, used to remove the large or deep fibroids then next one is the best exercise for the fibroid uterus means walking swimming and cycling thank you